Hello everybody, my name is Legion2k and I want to welcome you all back to another iRacing video. Now this time we're not doing road circuits, we're doing go? some ovals. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that don't know, and this is news to me and I'm probably going to get Thank this wrong, uh, every season in iRacing is 13 weeks and this just happens to be week 13, which apparently according to my research, and there's probably going to be some iRacing veteran who's going to correct me, according to my research, Week 13 is sort of the week where nothing really matters and you can have a lot of fun. So I looked at what was available, saw some over racing, and I said, sure, why not? So we're here at Charlotte in IndyCar uh, with the uh, pace car start. Now, one thing I did not realize until just that moment is you are not ghosted. I am very used to a set of course of competiciones, you know, rolling starts, so I'm used to ghosted cars, but unfortunately that is not going to be the case. and. It's going to be a bit of a running theme in this video, although the big running theme for today's video is lack of skill and more accidental bumping and more sort of accidental bumping. Uh, basically, it's just going to be a mess. So if you're, you know, an oval racing veteran and, you know, it's all you do, you do, you know, the NASCARs and the trucks and Indy cars and dirt and all that, you're going to be cringing because this is an absolute mess. However, I will say I have not had this much fun oval racing in years. Uh, the last time I did any sort of serious oval racing was NASCAR Dirt to Daytona back in the early 2000s on my GameCube. Uh, that was a lot of fun. But anyways, the pace car pulls in. We're getting ready for the green flag to go. And there it is. I get an appalling start. Uh, not a problem though. You know, it's my first IndyCar race. You know, it cut me a little bit of slack. So, we're gonna have one guy go down the inside of us, make a little bit of contact. There's a guy just dead on the side of the road. Honestly, I don't blame him in the slightest. So, gain a position but lose a couple, so a net of minus one and, well, make that zero. So, haven't really moved up or down as we come around the final set of turns. We gain a position, so off to a good start. We're gonna get the slipstream, pull out to the outside and just slam into the car that I did not see at all. He gets sent somewhere to the stratosphere I assume people are complaining on the radio which honestly is, is pretty fair so we're gonna go back to the pits we're gonna take a look at how things went in so here we go here's me and my McLaren livery and I'm gonna slow it down and boom he's just gone he's just gone he's he's not coming back oh my god one thing you have to understand is that when I saw that I just started dying it was the funniest thing I had ever seen. So eventually the car gets fixed, we get to leave pit lane, we got Lightning McQueen up there trying to just face mount somebody. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, duck around that, no big deal. Uh, get back out there. Now, I will say it, I hate Charlotte's pit exit. Uh, I just, I don't like it. If you look at my throttle input, I'm rocking at about half, maybe two thirds if I'm feeling it. But it really isn't until pit exit to you know, where I say, all right, pedal down, go, 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 and, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, I had a little bit of a mishap, and I'm gonna have another mishap as I dip onto the apron and lose the car. Thankfully, gonna keep her rolling, getting out of the way of everybody, no big deal. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but I had just lost my front wing, so I thought, all right, you know what, a little touch, no big deal, I didn't get collected, uh, or I didn't collect anybody, rather, so I'm just gonna get back out there, um, and I think my, my left front's looking a little bit tipsy, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, but you know what? Back out there, back on the road, and no big deal. And one thing I noticed right away is that I can't really steer to the right, so I have to slow down, and I knock the tire against the wall again. However, I appear to have possibly fixed my steering issue. Uh, sort of the whole, like, your remote's not working, you just smash it against your hand and it works. Sort of, sort of the same thing. So I'm like, alright, uh, no big deal, we're just gonna get back out there. We've got this guy spinning out, I don't know what he's doing, but you know what? Go off, bro. No big deal, a little bit of turning is back, and I come down the back straight and I'm like, alright, is my steering working? Yes it is, I can get close to the wall, that's no big deal. So coming around the next or the final two corners again, we got the Tide Pod machine on the outside, and again we're just gonna dip onto the apron. And this time, 
it is gonna be lights out, and then we're gonna get punted, and then my race engineer is gonna let me know that. That's not right. It should be the other way up, I'm yep, sure. he's gonna let me know that the car drives faster with the wheels on the ground, and you know what? I have to agree with him. So we're just gonna see that again. Uh, you know, just get a little bit onto the apron, just just not even that much, just a smidge, and then we hit the wall. We get booted into the air like a football. And I'm not going to question the physics here. I'm not someone who designs physics engines. I just use them. So now, now is where the day kind of went from okay to a complete meme. So we're here at Daytona in the trucks. And we have to start in pit lane because obviously, you know, that's where you all park after qualifying and we all line up. So we're going to get out of pit lane here. I'm almost going to rear end this guy and I'm like, nope, I remember the last time. I'm not going to make that same mistake again. So, you're probably wondering, hey Legion, uh, are you going to skip to the start? No, I'm not, and you're going to find out why rather quickly. So, as we get on to the first two banked corners of Daytona, we're just going to have somebody get shoved out of the way and someone's going to dodge into me. People are not happy. So, I already know for a fact that we are off to a horrendous start, but okay. You know what? No problem. Things happen. I don't care about anybody else as long as I stay behind the number one truck which is in front of me and a couple more people are going to come together and I, I, I'm probably going to be drowning out the radios but there were a lot of angry people in this race especially. Um, it was kind of entertaining so just going to pass this guy. He's not the number one truck that I need to be behind. Uh, this is actually as everyone else kind of just dies. So within not even the first lap. We haven't even started the race, mind you. We have not even had a green flag. I have gone from 11th to 4th in half a pace lap, in half the parade lap. Haven't even made it to the start. Green flag hasn't dropped. I've made up seven positions. Okay. As you can tell, only first and fourth. I believe that's fourth, it's hard to tell with this display, or this uh, little display window, but either way, first and fourth is still there, ninth is in front of me, I'm eleventh, whatever, we've got people sneaking up behind, the pace car pulls off, finally, or I should say safety car, I don't even know anymore, but whatever, the race is underway, I almost go into the back of the number one truck, that guy just blows by us at about Mach 8, uh, no big deal, so we're underway here at Daytona, I'm feeling really good, I'm like, alright, you know what, we had kind of an awful start, you know, everybody did, we're finally underway, we're just gonna, you know, calm down, let it ride, and go from there. Now, I should say right now, I have zero idea how oval racing strategy works. I've heard that depending on the, the track, it's either the inside line or the outside line. I just prefer to go with whatever, because I'm a very simple man, and I like to make the fast cars go vroom, and that's what I'm here to do. So we get overtaken, no big deal, we're down into sixth. Alright, I can work with that. So, as people are still complaining on the radio, because, of course, uh, we're coming around here to the front straight, and everyone's just gonna die. I'm gonna slip through, I have to admit, kinda sick, and now I'm in the lead, and this was legit the rest of my race. This was all I did. I sat up front, I got around a few people, and that was about it. So I get on the radio, I'm like, hey guys, great race, it certainly was something, and this was definitely a deserved win as my engineer will tell me. So, we go back to Charlotte. This is where, this is like the apex. This is the peak of my evening. So, we're starting in the, you know, probably the backfield. Okay, no big deal. We haven't had as many incidences as we did before. Incidences? Incidents. Either way, we're doing a lot better than we did last time, and that's really all that matters. Although, although, the race is going to start, and it is going to go off like you would not believe. So I'm going to call this the Napa car on the left side. He gets around us, but we get around him. No problem. There's some guy parked on the inside. He probably knows what's going to happen. So I want you to pay attention to the two cars in front of us. They are going to come together. One of them's going to go in the air. We're going to slip under. No big deal. There's a guy off on the left side. I don't know what he's doing. we got two more guys up front who are just going to murder each other. And then it's a three-peat. And then we're going to have another guy on the inside. I'm going to get around another guy back there before our little spinning friend. And now we've made up even more positions. And as we come around to the triable, I'm going to go for something that's probably a little bit on the illegal side. But again, it's weak. 13 so who really cares and we're gonna gain a position but also lose a position and that guy's still parked on the inside god bless his soul and again it is the 
all member of depravity happening at Charlotte. So, fast forwarding a little bit, we get to the back of these two guys. The the mint machine right there is going to be the point of interest. So we go down, I'm on the apron again, and I'm going to come back up and just accidentally murder this guy, you know, as you do casual things. Uh, I go over the radio. I do apologize, because again, I, I don't want to do that. And this guy is flipping for some reason. I'm still not certain why he is, but you know what? He is, and I'm proud he's having fun. And... That's basically just what the races were. Have fun. So fast forwarding again. Uh, we're on the back of the car in front. Uh, I've been chasing him down a little bit. And I decide, you know what? We're on the back stretch. I think I'm a little bit close. I'm going to go for the move. So I do down the inside and then I start to back out because I realize it's not the best idea. But I'm on the apron and I'm just going to unsettle the car like I did the last time. Clatter the wall. And uh, I forgot the number one rule of... Being in an accident is to hold the brake. My engineer again will tell me that being on the wheels is a lot faster, but hey, what do I pay him for? So we're going to go back to the pits, get a new car. We've got the guy in front of us just facing the wrong way. So again, that should tell you everything you need to know about the quote unquote skill level of this here lobby. So get back out there. Again, I took it easy on the pit exit because I hate it. So. Up ahead, the, the green car kind of gets nudged a bit and slows down, so we're just going to dart around, and that's the one thing I love about these, is just how fast you're going, it's insane. And we're going to come across this guy, and I think accidentally kill him a little bit, but I think he actually got away with it, so we're good. And now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to speed this up, because I want you to pay attention to the guy in front. Now, again, I have very, very little... IndyCar slash oval racing experience because, you know, it's been a, quite a while since I've actually done anything, but I eventually catch up to him and I'm thinking, all right, I can get around him. I've caught up to him. Let's see if we can make this work. So we sit in the slipstream. It looks like he's going to open the door on the inside, but not quite. Um, we're going to run it very close to the wall. Not enough to, you know, really write home about, but enough to definitely pay mine to. So we get on to the next lap here. We're still behind him. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can go for a move. But then he starts doing a little bit of weaving. I'm like, all right, fine. I guess I'll have to put it off for a little while. Unfortunately, uh, I am going to run rather close to the wall and just tag the right side tire. And you can see it's bent a little bit. And all that time I gained is now gone. But eventually, I do start reeling him in a bit. Now we're about half a second, and I'm thinking, all right, take two, let's try it again. Around the same corner, and I'm just going to drift out wide again, and that's going to break the suspension. It's going to break the car, and unfortunately, this is where it is going to end for me. I do not have any more cars to work with, so as we sit here in the pit lane and contemplate what just happened over that evening i'd like to take a moment and say thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed your stay and i'm hope you know i hope you guys are enjoying this new uh, little i racing series i don't know how often i'll do this but we'll figure that out uh, if you enjoyed as always remember to like favorite comment and subscribe follow me on twitter i'm on discord and twitch and tiktok because i'm a disgusting gen zer but ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for me today my name is legion 2k i want to thank you all so much for stopping by I'm signing off.